<clears throat> Hi, Ohana. Happy Saturday Eve. Boy, what a night it's been. Got so many people in here. Sorry about the mix up earlier. We had um people here. So I didn't want to get disturbed. Steve, what's up, buddy? Explosive Phoenix. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. I love wrestling. Gonna check out your video later. Awesome. Gene Mark, welcome. Happy Saturday, all. Yes, we are live. Thank you so much, Joseph Andrews. I will wait for your streams anytime. I love it. The countdown is on. Yes, I was waiting for a Sarah and Rich to go live, but they never went live. So I'm not sure what happened there. They're listed on the live place. Dean, his link is in the description below. Does amazing work over there. For all your family friendly live stream needs, he's got your whole week covered. Just added four or five new channels to the roster. Disney time, welcome. Zippity doo dad, thanks for stopping in. Joseph Erickson, welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. If you missed Disney dance stream, he had Abby on, their former cast members. That was an awesome stream. And then Steve, who's here with us now. Was on with Mouse, uh, Mouse Talk, where they talked new sports. Very interesting and informative stream. Definitely go check it out. And then Road Trip Dave, that guy, there is nothing blah about him. I don't care what he says. He did a run stream earlier. I was over there for a while. <clears throat> yeah, awesome night of live streams. We're going to continue it here. I was recently tagged by Explosive Phoenix, who was, I guess, tagged by Pepper Tree Villa. Um, Doug and Arnie, I guess their names are over there. I'm sure most of you know Pepper Tree. Amy, AGC Magic, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. I like seeing you all day, like since lunchtime this morning. I love it. Yeah, it's an 18-question tag. Some are a lot harder than others, but nonetheless, it was a lot of fun going through it and coming up with the answers. Some of them surprised myself. What is your favorite Disney ride? We That's a long way to go, Disney time. The questions are in the description below. If you'd like to A, follow along, or B, take them for yourself, because I was asked to tag other people but couldn't really come up with anybody. To, I don't want to put anybody on the spot. So I did a Rob Fuzz mega tag. Anybody who's interested, I would encourage you to take the questions and have some fun with it. Rosa, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Another awesome channel. The Joseph, we got two Josephs here. We got Joseph E. What's the other Joseph? E and A. That's how we'll do it. Jack's in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Amy, everything about sports. Welcome. Elisa Sisters, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. It's probably Sunday already where you are. Thanks so much for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Cute channel there. I love that. Yes, been on and off and did my own live stream. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I got to go check that out. Didn't have the chance to stop in. I want to see Steve and Walt take the challenge, in fact. Well, that's up to them. Like I said, all the questions are in the description below. If anybody wants to grab them more than happy to or more than willing to <clears throat> All right, just keeping an eye on somebody else Jim with more sunshine please thank you so much for being here really appreciate it Walt mouse talk himself is here it's an 18 question tag 18 Disney questions, some a lot harder than the others. They range from 
all over the place, really. So, about five or six minutes into this, just get going. Like I said, I'm not going to tag anybody myself personally, but all the questions are in the description below. If you want to take them and have some fun with it. But the first question is, let's just get into this. Again, this is from Pepper Tree. I think they're, shoot, I don't know if the description, link's in the description below. But their handle is tagged along with explosive. I don't know if Pepper Tree is the originator of this tag originally, but. The first question is, which Disney movie or scene would you like to be in? I actually answered both, movie and scene. And the movie I would like to be in is the original Tron from 1992. I think that would be so cool, being able to get transported into the computer and play the games and ride the light cycles. And I picked the original one because I almost like that one better than the um, Legacy one, Tron Legacy. I can't wait for that ride to come in Magic Kingdom. Just seeing the construction update on Myers and the Mouse stream earlier. They wrote the people mover definitely coming along. I'm answering the question. I go live on next Saturday. Yeah, like I said, I figured I would do this live because I can probably do it in an hour. Trying to film it would take me three and a half days. I think Pepper Tree got nominated for the challenge. Yeah, I watched some of the stream. I couldn't pick up. Probably right in the description. I just missed it. Jelly Journey, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. So the question number one was, which movie or scene would you like to be in? Which Disney movie? The movie I picked was Tron, 1982. And the scene I picked was the Yodel scene, the song that the Seven Dwarfs sing in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I love that scene. I'll fast forward to that scene when I watch that movie. Just to get there, I love it so much. Just the animation that goes into that scene, it's all hand done. If you watch that whole scene, there's just so much going on in it. But that would be the scene I would want to be in. <clears throat> Greg, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Another person I've seen pretty much all day. Disney Time is excited for Tron. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I used to watch videos of it over in Shanghai thinking I would never get the chance. And they announced it was coming. Jack. Welcome. Sorry if I missed you. Probably talking explosive. Yeah, all these questions are in the description below if you want to take them. The movie and scene goes with that. Question number two is what is your best moment in a Disney park? And it says moment, not memory. So I think that's important. Disney Nerd Herders, Charlie and Stacy, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. 18 question tag by Explosive Phoenix and Pepper Tree. The moment I look forward to the most and is most memorable to me is the turning the corner and getting to see the castle. You don't get to actually see the castle really until you turn down Main Street. You go through the turnstiles, you go through the little tunnel. You have to walk around the town square. And then boom, you get to see the castle. That's my favorite moment at any Disney park, really, is getting to see the castle. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Mark Jean, welcome. Sorry if I missed you. I thought you were in here real early. Up. Again, sorry about the mix up earlier or the rescheduling. I just didn't want to have any interruptions. Yeah, my best moment at a Disney park is the castle reveal. 
turning the corner. Number three, this is an interesting one. What non-Disney song reminds you of Disney? And it's probably one of the songs that I listen to almost every time before I go live. And it's that Everything is Awesome song from the Lego movie by that Tegan and Sarah. But that's probably the most notable one that I could think of. Nick's Picks, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in. Did you get to catch that video? I think you're the one who um, reached out. It's still in the, the upload somewhere, the partner channel thing. Sitting in my room at Park Century, slightly jealous. That's awesome. Hope you had a magical day. Yeah, we never stayed at Pop. But yeah, the Everything is Awesome Lego song. I mean, just the lyrics in it. You're living out a dream. Everything's better when we stick together. Just all positive. Bad stuff happens. It, you just got to look at the bright side of everything. So that would probably be the song that reminds me of Disney. That's not a Disney song. And question number four was when is your first trip to Disney? And it was when I was a teen, so it was 87, 86, somewhere around there. And then we went three years after that, so 89. Late 80s was my first trip. And I didn't go again until 2017, almost 30 years later. So that one was easy. First trip to Disney. Question number five, which Disney character would you be best friends with? or would be your best friend. And I think I kind of cheated here, but I picked Pluto. Man's best friend. Can't go wrong with the dog. Plus it gets you access to Mickey. Yeah, I think the, the Disney character that would most likely be my best friend would be Pluto, especially nowadays. You never tell with people. 30 year gap, yeah, no doubt. It was huge. And that's when I caught the the magic bug was then. It wasn't 30 years ago. I think that, what, wow, yeah. <clears throat> All right, this is the one that kind of surprised me. Question number six, which Disney sidekick best fits your personality? I actually had to look into this one a little because I wasn't too sure. And I came up with Mushu from Mulan. And it's actually kind of fitting, if you think of it. I mean, he's tall and skinny. I mean, I'm offhand Disney skinny. That helps you any. So just like Mushu, plus he can be rather selfish at times, impulsive and impatient. But at the same time, he can also be loyal, charismatic protective, caring, and sensitive. And plus, he's probably got one of the best movies or best lines in a movie that dishonor, dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. Walt knows what I'm talking about. Dishonor on your whole family. So that would probably be the Disney sidekick that best, best fits my personality, almost to a T. <clears throat> How are we doing on time? Oh, we've been only at this for 15 minutes. 18 questions. Question number seven. Who is your favorite Disney princess? I don't even think I have to answer this. I think somebody would be able to answer that real quick. Original princess. Absolutely beautiful. Just love brunettes. Walt original princess, like I said. I haven't seen it yet. Buddy, I gotta get, try to get the young into bed. I will try to get back before. I, in case I, thanks for stopping in, Steve. Really appreciate it. No worries. Pluto is a fan favorite character. That's why I figured it would be safe to go with the uh, the pup. 
Plus, like I said, it gets you access to Mickey at the same time. So, all right, nobody said it's no white yet, but it's no white. I'm sure somebody knew that. Question number seven was, who's your favorite Disney princess? No way. Again, these questions are in the description below. I'm not going to tag anybody personally. It's a Rob Fuzz mega tag. You're free to take all the questions and have fun with them yourself. Question number eight, which Disney movie or scene never fails to make you cry? There's one person out there who knows the answer to this, and that's Moana. There's never been a movie ever that has made me cry more than Moana from beginning to end, from when she's in the ocean, meeting the ocean and the heart for the first time, from her moments with grandma, mom at the door with the bag, to Fiti at the end, let her come to me, that cross the horizon. I mean, oh my God, I'm going to start crying now. Moana. For sure, hands down, doesn't even come close to the movie that makes me cry. I mean, the whole movie, let alone a scene. That was question eight. Am I missing it? Oh, um, in RV. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. I got that name somewhat figured out. Am I missing anybody? Jack's taking off. Thanks for stopping in, Jack. Really appreciate it. You need to see Moana. Yeah, you need to see Moana. That goes for anybody who hasn't seen Moana. Plus, the music is just awesome. I mean, it's award-winning music. Absolutely amazing movie. I could watch that a couple times a day. No problem. All right, where was that? Question number eight. Thank you all so much for being here. I know it's late. I was going to try to do this earlier, but ended up rescheduling it, and everybody else was live, so I wanted to wait. Again, check out the liveplace.com for all your live streaming needs. Dean does awesome stuff over there. Dreamers Empire. Question number nine. What is your favorite Disney movie? I mean, this could be split up into two of all time. Snow White, obviously, and most recently would be Moana. But yeah, that Snow White, again, it's the original animated movie, first of its kind. It's what kickstarted the whole movie animation thing. Walt nearly sunk the company into it, broke the bank on it. So. Yeah, Snow White's my favorite. I remember when they played the music for it live and they were prepping for the music with Moana at Disneyland, Disney Spring. They did a live show of Moana at Disneyland Springs? That'd be awesome. I've seen the um, Moana on Ice show. I think um, Pirate Princess Red still has the video up with that. Fishing 1976, welcome. Happy Saturday Eve. Thanks for stopping in. We're about halfway through this thing. I'm on question number 10. Again, all these questions are in the description below. You're free to take them and have fun with them. Number 10 is what Disney movie is most overrated? I don't know. This was kind of hard for me. But I went with princess and the frog i don't know i never really liked it as far as disney movies kind of slow as far as i'm concerned i don't know don't really have much to say about it like i said that was kind of a hard one i like all disney movies to a point but if i had to pick one i would say princess and the frog i know everybody says frozen is overrated but I don't think so. I love Frozen. So question 11 is the opposite of that. Which Disney movie is most underrated? And I picked Tomorrowland, the new Tomorrowland with the kid. I love that movie for some reason. I don't know if it's because you get to see the attractions like 
it's a small world and I think you can see Space Mountain off in the distance and I mean a rocket gets shot out of the Eiffel Tower for crying out loud. So I picked Tomorrowland. I know that might shock some people because I know that's not too liked out there. So question number 12, what is your favorite Disney song? I mean, I could do a whole show on this question. I love Olaf, he's like warm hugs. That was one of the contentions for my sidekick was Olaf. And one of the reasons was warm hugs. Character interaction, that was me. Most underrated Disney movie, The Black Cauldron. That's another one I don't mind. How's it going, Chris? Did you on the live tonight? Hey, what's up, Chills? Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Yeah, it was a busy night for lives. Like I said, Disney Dan was on at 7 with Abby. If you missed that, they were talking all things. Former cast members. Old Yeller says, Florida, Florida Fanatics. Welcome, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Rose is still here. But yeah, it was awesome. They were talking about their dream jobs that they would want. And then Steve, who was in here earlier, was on with Mouse Talk, who was in here earlier, for their youth sports talk night. That was very informative. Especially if you have kids, definitely go check that out. The chat was pretty active, too, involved with it. And then after that, Road Trip Dave went live for a run. I don't know if any of you were over there, but that was a riot. That guy is 100% energy all the time. <clears throat> he was saying he was feeling a bit lethargic and blah. I was like, dude, there's nothing blah about you. So if you missed any of those, I'm sure they're posted by now. Definitely go check them out when you get a sec. Pepper Tree Bill is here. Thanks for stopping in. Sorry about earlier. I saw you were in here, but I didn't want any outside distractions messing things up. So I figured I'd wait. <clears throat> but we're about halfway through this. Pepper Tree is, I don't know, if maybe they can clarify if they're the originators of this tag or if they were tagged themselves. But they tagged Explosive, who tagged me, and now I tagged everyone. <clears throat> I just did a mega tag. Arnie and Oh, what's Doug? Doug and Arnie? I got that right? I didn't pick anybody individually. I just encourage anybody who wants to to take the questions and do what they want with it. But my favorite Disney song, I know I'm stalling here. Bed, I just woke up. Going to bed? Or are you just waking up? Either way, I appreciate you being here. Well, my favorite one currently that I can't seem to get out of my head, thanks to Juan Rodriguez, is that, what's it, Owl City, the When Can I See You Again, is probably my favorite song at the moment. Like I said, I could do a whole hour show on my favorite song. But another favorite is the Yo Ho song. I mean, I'll listen to that at work. I'll sing it just out of the blue at work. Arnie, Doug, and Ben is pepper. Oh, I didn't catch Ben. So I got the first two right. Got to add Ben. I can have its sound issues at the moment. Uh oh. That's the first I've heard of it, so hopefully it's not me. Both of you chilly tonight. And sorry, it was a busy night. Like I said, I'm still on a stream right now, and I'm live streaming. So it's very busy. Very busy. Okay, favorite Disney song. Question number 13 is, what is your least favorite Disney song? And it took me a minute to think of this, but there's one particular song. I didn't know the name of it, who did it. I had to look this up. But it's the song that's at the end of The Emperor's New Groove. There's just something about it that every time it comes on, I have to turn the movie off instantly. And it's actually done by Sting. And it's called My Funny Friend and Me. 
And apparently this Emperor's New Groove is supposed to be a Lion King type. All animals or something. There's supposed to be no people. And Sting did the entire score for it. But things got changed up. But the last song remained Sting. And yeah, there's just something that doesn't sound good about that song to me. Oh, they got the sound fixed. And yes, it's Doug and Arnie. Gotta go, Avery needs the TV, Dragon Ball time. All right. And don't forget, Disney Nerd Herders, thank you guys so much for being here. They'll be going live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, doing some kind of new bracket. I hear it's some kind of dance-off or something, so definitely check it out. You don't want to miss it. The dance-off might be misinformation, but the bracket is true. Supposedly one of a kind, never been done before. Sounds pretty awesome. Definitely go check it out. I'll be there. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. Good luck at the game, Avery. All right, that was my least favorite song. Again, I don't like or dislike too many Disney songs. Now, if you watched me on Dole Whip Dad's channel, you would know the answer to this next question is, who is your most memorable Disney villain? And he kind of caught me off guard as to like why I like him when I was there. Chris asked you a question, do a challenge, do a, do a challenge. Yeah, but they couldn't hear. Their volume was messed up. Were you guys the originators, puppetry of this tag, or were you tagged yourself? Is what Explosive is asking. Jim leaving? Or is he just saying, but Nick Picks is still in the house. Story in the middle is in the house. Gaston is there favorite. Well, Jafar is mine from Aladdin. Aladdin's one of my favorite movies. And yeah, Jafar is just like the perfect villain and transform himself into things. He can be smooth and manipulative. Oh, I was challenged by the Travelers and with V and Steve there in the UK. More UK friends. Awesome. I'll have to check them out. Is that in your description? I was trying to see. If there was another originator, but well, thank you for that. Yeah, my most memorable Disney villain, and I think these words mean something, would be Jafar. Because that other question said moment, not memory. All right, we're moving along here. Almost done, actually. Been a half hour. What Disney classic ride attraction is your favorite? Most of you know that's Haunted Mansion. Hands down, I would want one in my backyard if I could. It's usually one of the, if it's not Pirates, it's Haunted Mansion that we go to first. Absolutely love the Haunted Mansion. If there was only one ride or attraction I could do, it would be the Haunted Mansion. There's a few other people out there that agree with that. I'm going to screenshot the questions. I might go live and answer them this week. Yeah, definitely zippity. That goes for anybody. You're more than willing to. The new Jafar doesn't seem to have the... Yeah, I know, Jim. Like they ruined Jafar. That's another thing. He's got that voice. Very, and he's got Iago, the parrot. Love it. Amy says Haunted Mansion. It would either be that or Pirates, but definitely Haunted Mansion here. Walt had a huge hand in creating it. We were tagged by YouTubers in the UK. Florida Fanatic says Old Yellow would be my answer to half of the questions. Very big Old Yellow. It's not an Old Yellow attraction, though, Florida Fanatic, so you'd have to come up with something else for that one. But yeah, hands down, Haunted Mansion here 
And then the next question is, which modern Disney ride attraction is your favorite? And it says ride specifically, not attraction. I just put attraction to say attraction. And that's Tower of Terror, the Hollywood Hotel. Texas Takes, welcome. Another one I've seen for the majority of the day. Thanks so much for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Texas time, well, Disney Times is Splash Mountain. That's another awesome one. Don't forget to hit the like. Thanks so much, Dippity. Florida says Tower. That's an awesome attraction. I still get completely nervous on that ride. Finally went hands up for the first time last day. But from the moment walking up there, the queue, the sparks and stuff in the the loading area and the fact that the car actually leaves the the shaft and then re-enters it blew my mind the first time we ever went on it and still kind of freaky to this day because it's just not natural janine welcome thanks for stopping in really appreciate it happy saturday eve amy's a slinky dog that's another good one as long as it's not falling apart very smooth coaster, super fun. Yep, same here, especially when you don't know if it's gonna drop or shoot up. Yep, you never know. And they're shooting you up and then they're pulling you right back down at the same time. Absolutely amazing. And it's a completely different experience going hands-free. Like holding on is actually doing anything anyways. You're talking about Tower of Terror is your answer, Chris? Yes. To my most or my, which modern Disney ride is your favorite? I would consider that modern, not a classic. I know it's been around for 20 some odd years, but Haunted Mansion has been around for 50. 69, I think it was made, or finally open. That is also a hard question. Too many like Tower of Terror, Slinky Dog, Mind Train. Mind Train is another good. Flight of Passage is another good one. Mine would be Tower of Terror just because of the overall experience. So we only got two more to go. These are pretty good ones again. Again, this was Pepper Tree's tag coming from Travels with B and Steve. And then Explosive tagged me. You're all free to take them and do it yourself if you'd like. Zippity said he was going to think about doing it. Janine, if you want to do them. They're all in the description below. You're more than welcome to take them. Number 17 is, what is your favorite Disney music score? And mine would probably be Mary Poppins. Absolutely love that. From the beginning to the end, Moana would be right up there with it. But I wanted to go with more of a, a classic score. I mean, it's got the super califragile. I wrote a list here. Feed the birds. I mean, the whole thing from beginning to end. The life I lead. Spoonful of sugar. Jolly holiday. I love to laugh. I mean, I love that song. Chim chimery. I forgot that. And then let's go fly a kite. Beginning to end. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, I would think that would be my favorite if I had to pick one. If not favorite, the best or the best one that I think is out there. Now I lost the question. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Sherman Brothers, too, that did the score to that. They were in my top 10 Imagineer honorary mention list. If you missed that, definitely go check that out. Everyone seemed to love that. Pepper Tree agrees with that one. It's a, amazing from beginning to end. I mean, the whole thing is 
Janine agrees, Amy's agree, and my favorite Disney soundtrack is Song of the South. That's different. Good movie. Zoya agrees. Yeah, it's, I had so much fun with this. Like coming up with my sidekick, I would have never have guessed it was Mushu. But after doing a little um, research into their actual traits and stuff, that one fit the the best. So the last one might be kind of a surprise to some people, but what is your favorite live action movie? Disney movie. And it's nothing recent. And some people might not even know it. But it's the Reluctant Dragon, I believe from 1941, if I'm not mistaken. One of the very few movies, if not the only one, Walt Disney himself was in. Yeah, no doubt, Sawyer. Mary Poppins is hard to beat. The original Poppins. The new one's just as good, too, the music. It's awesome, Chris, the music for Mary Poppins. Yep, beginning to end. It's It's great. I mean, even the funny songs, the I love to laugh and stuff with Uncle there. Do we know the rescuers? No. Reluctant Dragon. It's the live action in the beginning, and then it turns to a cartoon or animation at the end. So what, home party? Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're on the very last question. But if you'd like to do the questions, they're in the description below. You're more than welcome to take them and answer them, them yourself if you want. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I like the new pair of topics, but the first one is awesome. Yeah. I like how they did change up the, the music a little with the second one. So it wasn't just a carbon copy. But it's got the Robert Benchley in it. It's the behind the scenes type movie where they take you around the, the old animation studio, show you how they do the drawings. They show you a first up look at that multi-plane camera and how that whole thing works. They show you how Donald Duck is drawn out and they show it come to life. It's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you trying to find it. Like I said, I think it's, if not the only one, it's one of the very few movies where Walt's in it himself at the end, right before they go to the animation scene, which shows the cartoon, The Reluctant Dragon. Bambi. I know Disney way back in the day had like a sci-fi movie that had robots, but I believe it's the only R-rated Disney movie. I don't know if they had R-rated. I know they had that um, documentary with the the UFOs and stuff. We have that. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. That was back in, um, what's his name, Eisner's age. They were promoting the alien encounter ride and they came up with this documentary about people getting abducted by aliens and stuff to promote that what movie was it the reluctant dragons is that the one you're talking about The Reluctant Dragon with um, Robert Benchley, pretty famous actor back in the day. But yeah, it's absolutely hysterical. They show you how they do the sound effects and stuff for Casey Jr. short. They show you the, the actors who do the voices and stuff. I said it was multiplane. The multiplane camera at five level that gave it 3D or the look of 3D. 
He closed 20,000 leagues. Eisner, yep. Texas Tech multi-plans the camera. That was developed by Walt Disney. Yep. If you'd like to more le learn more about it, it's in that same um, stream we, or I did with the top 10 Imagineers. Who was it? Uh, I can't believe I forget his name. I really can't believe I forget his name. Oh, it's Brogy. I think it was Roger Brogy who developed <clears throat> the multiplane. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh, and I'm not. Oh, I can. No, I can't share it. Well, I can, but it's going to mirror. Show you a picture of it real quick here. But just bear with the um, mirroring for a second. There you go. You should be able to see that now. But that's the multiplane camera that we're talking about. All right, bear with me again. Come on. All right, we're back. So that's what we're talking about. And yeah, I think it was um, Brogy, the machinist, who's also responsible for circle vision, the three, 360 degree, it gives it the depth. Instead of having 2D animation, it gives it that, like you're looking into a, an actual scene. I think I'm thinking of a PG movie called The Black Hole. Oh, that's another good movie. Black Hole. Yeah, that's a Disney movie that's got the robots and stuff. Yeah, that's probably what you thinking of yep joe rody he'd be a legend at some point he's not one yet he was the only one on our list or my list to not be named a disney legend yet but he did make it at number 10 done some amazing things like animal kingdom for one start to finish Disney Plus, yeah, we talked a lot about that last night. If you missed that epic stream, three and a half hours, we didn't talk about it the whole time, but definitely within the first hour, it was talked about heavy. So if you're interested in knowing what's coming up, we talked about all the lineup that's coming. And that's pretty much it. 18 questions about Disney. Had a lot of fun putting it together. Surprised on a couple of the answers myself. Each Dragon is considered a live action movie. Yeah. And I would consider the Reluctant Dragon live action, even though there's animation at the end. Same with Mary Poppins, it's got animation mixed in. But I would consider that live action. Yeah, most surprising answer to me would probably be Mushu is my sidekick that most resembles my personality. But that would be him. Yeah, I would think the, um, yeah, that's what I came up with. What did I say it was? Oh, you missed that pepper tree. But yeah, Mushu, I mean, he's tall and skinny like me. What is he, like a dragon or a lizard or something? There he is. But I mean, I actually had to look this up and like do a little research into this. 
as far as what their traits are. But he can be rather selfish and impulsive, impatient, but at the same time can be caring, sensitive, charismatic, very loyal, and did I say, well, oh, protective. I'm crash, you guys have a magical night. Yeah, we're getting out of here too, Zippity. Thanks so much for being here. Have a magical night. Really appreciate it. If Pollyanna had been the sidekick, that would have been it. And I talked to Olaf was in the running for me too. I thought live action was just referring to animated that turned into human. Uh, it could be the Swift, Swift Family Robinson movie. Anything live action. Have a magical night, Zippity. Really appreciate it. We'll see you at some point tomorrow, I'm sure. The original is a classic Beast Dragon. Yeah, I used to love that as a kid. Beast Dragon. Pepper Tree is Jiminy Cricket. That's a good one. Texas takes us out of here. Have a good night. Really appreciate you stopping in. That goes for all of you. Really appreciate you being here more than you know. I'll try to be on at some point in the morning, probably 9.30. Like I said, um, Charlie, Stacy, and possibly Sophie will be going live at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I would ask if anybody is up at that moment to run over and say hi to them. I don't know if I have their link. I would think I would. There it is. So I'll be going on at like 9.30, get a little group together, go over there and say hi. And then at night, there's a try Beverly. I still haven't done that. Is the Nerd Herders link? They were in here earlier for a little bit. Really appreciate that. UFO Builder, welcome. Happy Saturday Eve. Thanks for stopping in. We're just saying our goodbyes. Chris, did you ever know that Swiss Family Robinson got a remake called the New Swiss Family Robinson? I'm not sure that I did, Explosive. I love the original Swiss Family. Not a huge fan of the Treehouse, but... But yeah, definitely go check out Disney Nerders, 10 a.m. I'm going to try to be on at 9.30 before them. We got Jeopardy tomorrow night over at a Disney Life for Me. D and Miguel, they are the pros at trivia. And at the end of every month, they run a Jeopardy between the winners. So there'll be three different people, YouTube channels going up against each other tomorrow night for their Jeopardy. Always a good time. Definitely go check them out. Thanks, Jim. Really appreciate you being here. Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. More Sunshine Please is live. I'll definitely check him out. Always a good time. Thanks so much for stopping in. Nick Pick, really appreciate it. Have a magical time for the rest of your stay. Gonna go Muscu Disney with Stacy. Hey, oh, is that another, you know, something? So what home party? Take care. Have a good magical night. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. And after the Disney life for me, I believe Joe with Dad is going live for his DizTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. 
I'm pretty sure, although I know that schedule can change from time to time. But always be on the lookout for a Dole Whip Dad live stream. He can go live at any moment for any reason, kind of like me. Really appreciate you all being here again. I know it's late, but definitely wanted to do this live. John Vlog, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. I just saw you posted a couple of new videos. I have to go check them out. Again, I'm not going to tag anybody specifically. All the questions are in the link, I mean, in the description below. I encourage you, if you want to, to copy and paste them or just take them, have fun with them. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think you will too. Again, thank you, Pepper Tree Villa and Explosive Phoenix for tagging me to do it. Definitely was a lot of fun. Upload two new vlogs today. Yeah, I saw them. I just haven't had time to get over there yet. I will eventually, maybe once I'm done here. Check out all the links in the description below. Amazing merch. Janine is one of them. She has an Etsy shop. Make cute little bracelets and other items are coming soon. So definitely stay tuned. But her link is in the description below. So show us some love. Along with Mickey's Magic 28 and Cargo 619. Cargos is on Instagram. Megan's got a Etsy shop. Both make amazing ears. These are Cargos, handmade ears. Can't find this stuff at the parks. Megan makes fabric and hand painted custom ones. Absolutely amazing stuff. All the channels in the description are below. Go check them out. Amazing people with great content. All our power channels on our homepage. Absolutely amazing people. I can't say enough about them. They've been huge supporters of ours since the beginning. Go show them some love. Amazing channels. All of you in here are amazing. I love you all, seriously. You make my day. Great, Chris. Thank you so much for being here. UFO Builder, Pepper Tree, Doug and Arnie, have a good night. Steve is back. Welcome back. Janine, thank you so much for being here. Rosa, thank you so much for being here. Pepper Tree, John. So, uh, Nick Picks is at Disney. Super jealous. Or at least slightly jealous. Don't forget, um, Disney Nerd Herd is 10 a.m. tomorrow. We just finished up. The um, questions. Have you heard of The Reluctant Dragon, Steve? That live action from 19... I think it's 41. But it's the one where Walt's in it. Robert Benchley. It's like the behind the scenes kind of thing. Of the animation. Process. I have a pin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love that movie. And I think it's, if not the only one, it's one of the very few that Walt's in it himself. That I love about it. And I don't know if you missed my sidekick. Would be Mushu. That best fits me. So, definitely a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for tagging me. Again, take the questions. Have fun with it yourself. I'll be on 9.30 a.m., God willing, in the morning. Anybody else wants to say anything before we step out Disney store pin? I would think so. Do I have one? Yeah, that yellow one is a reluctant pet dragon pin, actually. It's got a door that opens. It's like a little book. Yeah, I got one too. I completely forgot about that. Is that the same one you have, Steve? I forget the series from it. 
there's a whole series of it that is like a book that opens. I hope you can get a group over to my stream next Saturday. We'll try. I'm probably not going to be able to. No, actually. No, it's not the same one. Okay. Walt's going to be on explosive. I'm not going to be able to. But like I said, the people that are at live streams will usually piggyback to somebody else's regardless, or at least a couple of them will. But yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to run a live stream over Walt. And Steve's, for that matter. That's their sports night. Good night. We even used some pins at Christmas decorations on our tree in the villa. That's awesome. I know people do separate Disney trees alongside their, or in a different room of their traditional tree. That's cool. Oh, thank you, Janine, really appreciate it. We do too, along with thousands of other pins. I've got a long way to go there. I have a couple hundred, but thousands, that's awesome. Walt is on there. Walt is on then, there's a break then I'm on, I think hour after yeah if it's 10 p.m that's right you are on an hour after you got me all confused with that whole competition thing i'm glad you corrected it the other day 25 christmas trees holy mackerel 25 trees last christmas that you decorate wow I want to see pictures of this villa at Christmas. It's like a winter wonderland. That's awesome. That's like my favorite. The Christmas forest, they call it. Yeah, 25 classifies as a forest. No doubt. I'm having trouble scheduling on my phone. I uh, guess I would assume you would be. Because I don't know if you can schedule on your phone explosive your stuff still in the shop have you talked to anybody about your stuff does anybody know about scheduling on your phone the stream it won't take the first the time that i want for it yeah i don't know if you're going to be able to do that explosive like i said i think you need to be on a desktop for that Oh, no, I've scheduled lives from the, you have to pick more options or something, right? No, you can do it from a phone. Oh, it might, I'm, I'm going straight from the app, though. Thanks for being here, Janine. I know we're kind of dragging this out. Have a magical night. Really appreciate you being here. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. The stream, it won't take the time. Yeah, see, it's different because I'm going straight from the app. I don't know what you're trying to. Oh, you got over a thousand, though. You should be able to stream right from the app. What am I talking about? But uh, it's under more options. And schedule time. Have you found all that? Right, but it's probably got to be on the phone the day of. Um, now it looks like I can pick future dates. Is that little blue thing clicked? See that little blue thing next to the schedule? That's got to be clicked. I'm going to, yeah, I figured you would. Yeah, I don't know. You definitely can set it up scheduled from the phone. And it looks like you can do 
future dates. So I don't know. Are you getting to the part where you can pick a thumbnail? Or it takes your picture as a thumbnail? Are you getting to that point? It's clicked on there, but when I do it, You should at that point just have to hit done at the bottom and it'll take you to the next screen that's going to take your picture. Have you got to that point? All of them are at least six feet tall. Oh, wow. And they're all outside, I assume, hence the forest. If you haven't got to the second screen that's taking your picture, you haven't even completed the first page. Oh, they're all inside. Hmm. Wow. I do the thumbnail, I set the time, and then it changes it on me. I think I can figure it out. Yeah, you just got to play with it and try to do a test stream or two. Trust me, before Saturday, it'll come in very handy, or at least it did for me. 25 trees inside, that this must absolutely look amazing. I'm sure that's not the only things that are in there. If there's 25 trees, there's got to be a lot of other stuff as well. We start decorating in mid-October. Wow, and probably start or end breaking it down and just not too long ago, February or May. We like them. I probably like them too. Two villages. That sounds like my mother. She's huge into the villages. Kind of like all wrapped around the whole. almost two rooms now she's got full of village stuff once it's all set up yeah people definitely get into it <clears throat> well, that's it we've been on here exactly an hour again sorry about the mix-up earlier i'm glad i waited because it went uninterrupted at least externally can't control what happens internally but it was dealt with thank you to all the moderators really appreciate you being here and your help it means the world that you would not only come here but help make everything go smooth it's really appreciated 9 30 tomorrow we'll see you back here and until then have a magical night guys bye